Okay guys, so things are going well. Um, we're getting there with the 3D model. Um, what we're going to do now is just kind of um, go around and add the detailing to the outside before we do the kind of tricky bit of doing the kind of staircase situation uh, on the inside and um, then we we'll go through and do the, the windows and doors. Um, okay, so yeah, they're, they're kind of finishing off the outside detailing. So the roof, first of all, um, as you can see, it's supposed to be sloped and it isn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool on this part of the building um, called Quick Slice. There it is. So I'll make this view bigger. What needs to happen with click Quick Slice? It's a, a multiple click process. Um, you might need to try it a few times before you get it right. But I'm going to click up here and you can see the line is going to come down to there. Okay, turn quick slice off when you finish with it. And then the polygons above that, I no longer need those. So I can just go ahead, highlight them all, delete them. Zoom in and get those in the top there. There we go. So now I come back to this view. I have my sloped roof, but of course I've got, um, you know, I can see into the walls, which if you really, really want, you can go around um, and, uh, sorry, get the edges and, you know, bridge that all back on. But there's not really any need because I'm now just going to create a box um, to place on top of here for the main roof. So. Go ahead and now create a box. Um, this is somewhat awkward because I don't really have um, a you know like a scale reference to go by apart from my side elevation. Um, because it's not on the planning drawings there. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of manual it so let's just draw something around about the right size like that convert to an editable poly um, if i look at my reference image i can see it overhangs in all directions by about the same amount let's lift it up here uh, if i get it right in the front view which i do have then it's going to be easy to get it right in the other uh, directions so let's start by doing doing that hmm. somewhat awkward isn't it really so I'm going to put it there then I'm going to get the vertices on this side and just bring them into here like that and I'm going to get the top ones on that side and that side and lower it down Okay, so that seems right in that direction. So what I can then do is manually do it in these two directions in this Y axis. So it's overhanging about the same amount all the way around. I can just eye that up. Seems about right. Same this way. There we go. Okay. And let's match those colors. There we go. So there we have a roof looking great. So other detailing, we've got the balcony and we've got this little porch thing here. So the porch situation we can do quite easily because we actually have a reference for that. So let's go to our top view. And let's draw this guy in. Uh, there we go, this looks about right. Okay, convert it straight to an editable poly from a box, is what I always do. And then we can do the actual lining up. There we go. And there we go. And then like we did with the, the other roof, let's use our connect tool. 
to chop out the bits we don't need essentially which is going to be anything in that region can you see that there we go there we go height wise we do have a reference for that so let's get those go to this view come down here that was basically dead on that was pretty good there we are so we've got this bit and then the the bit above it just seems to be a duplicate um we'll come to that in a minute <clears throat> it's one piece this is i guess kind of a, a video that if you kind of know what you're doing now you don't have to watch me do it you can just go ahead and do it yourself uh, but if you want to watch for reference then that's obviously fine as well so create another box for this piece there's no point trying to build all of this you know out of one piece build it out of multiples and then we can attach them later okay so there's that box there we need to create one and we can duplicate it height wise again we do have a reference for height so let's do this one first seems way off might just be the fuzziness of the image that's fine so there we go and then it's got kind of a a lip at the top so what i'm going to do is just extrude that a little bit and then get all four of those and extrude again but bear in mind you're gonna to have to change this to local normal so it will extrude in all directions there we go uh, where's our top view okay what else is there on this uh, just kind of a post that goes up so we can do that as part of the same thing very easily just inset that to about there and then extrude it to whatever it's going to need which we don't know yet so i'll just kind of leave it like that okay so what we can then do is just hold shift and drag to create i'm going to create an instance of it because if i need to make any changes i don't want to do it three times position that one and same again here that seems fine and as i said the roof bit of that seems to just be a carbon copy of this so i'm going to copy that i'll make it a copy this time because i'm going to need to make some tweaks to it and it doesn't seem to be flush with uh, oh, I do have a height reference for that. Always use the references if you've got them. Goes up to there. And then the height of it needs to be there. Which means you can see why this was good making this one an instance though. Okay. Yep, thanks. <laughs> so I can select the top of that, move that down, and then they all move at the same time you can see in uh, this view here and they could just be kind of intersecting that's great so that's kind of the porch area I don't think there's anything else to do on that nope so what I can now do is I can select one of the pieces I can get the attach tool and then just attach all of these pieces to it and there we are so that and then just becomes uh, one piece great um, last thing to do for now here is this balcony um, so what I might try uh, is to use some of these extra tools so if I go to um, you know I don't want to be I'm just going to pause whilst I find it there's a tool to do railing with so I just need to find it Okay, so I found it. 
<laughs> so, um, uh, and I've moved it again. So there we go. So it's in um, extended premises. No, it's not. It's in <laughs> AC extended. There we go. Um, which you might be thinking, oh, there's walls. Why didn't I just use those walls to make the walls in the first place? Well, um, you can do it kind of like this. Um, but the problem is when you get sort of more intricate bits going on, um, I found any way that it can kind of mess up. But if you want to experiment with those and use those, then by all means, give it a go. But particularly when you want to get all these hard angles and things, it I never seem to get on with it. Um, but anyway, here's the railings version, which is a bit more straightforward. So the way it works is it's uh, kind of a point-to-point a -point click. So if I have auto grid on, I can um, click up here, so I click and drag, I should say, um, along here, and then upwards. And that's kind of the default that you get. But in the, the settings, there's lots of things you can do. So it's a very basic rating that they've given me. But this doesn't look like that. Um, so you can, you know, make that uh, a bit rounded, uh, get rid of it all together. We want it to be square. Depth is quite shallow. I'm just trying to match what we've got in the image. Um, width that piece, something like that. I mean, yeah, you can spend ages um, tweaking these. Height. I can use my reference for the height. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, the posts, they want to be square as well. Depth, a bit wider. Extension, oh, that's the height. Yeah, we do want them to stick out the top slightly. Fencing type, pickets, solid fill. No, we don't want that. We want picket. And then that's these individual pieces here. seeming okay. It's just this bit bar is too high. I think bottom offset? No. Extension? No. <laughs> this is where I don't use these very often. I just want something that's going to move that bottom bar. Which one? Which one? Lower rails. I can only change the the depth and the width, that's weird. Not to worry, we can probably manual that. So let's say I've got this bit. Let's convert it to an editable poly. Yeah, it gives me that as a separate element, so I can just manually move that down. Why it's not in those settings, I don't know. Uh, to something like that. Okay. Hopefully, what I should now be able to do Because it's an editable poly, I can just manually kind of make some changes. That's going to be slightly further out, so something like that. Okay, and then hold shift and drag to create another one of these over this side. And then what I want to avoid is having to make another one. So 90 degrees. I probably am going to need to make another one. Maybe not. Let's try. <laughs> Just trying to think about how this might be in reality, but I'm not going to worry too, too much. This is something that you can play around with to perfect a bit more. I'm just going to move that up against there. And then what I could hopefully do, that should be another element. So I can just hold shift and just coin to another element. 
and then in maybe yeah this view that's left so we want that to be right there we go I can visualize the center of that a bit better that looks about right okay so there we have some railings lovely um, and then inside those railings obviously there's there's glass panels so I'm going to go back to standard and I'm going to just create a box a very thin box in here again you only need to make a small section of it because then you can just convert it to an editable poly get those polygons you need and just kind of just slightly intersect them into where they need to go and then just go all the way through might be slightly too thick oops yep slightly too thick so that's fine and this seems fine on that side okay so that would be essentially the the panel of glass when it comes to materials of course I can duplicate that over here and again over here just checking either side to make sure it's kind of aligned correctly and then this will just need extending to the end because this one's longer great again what you can do because um, this is all made up of multiple pieces now we can just go to attach and then attach the railings all together so that in itself if I move it is one piece easier to manage okay so that's railings done let's put some high quality on for now some railings done the porch bit is done the roof is done so that just leaves now the um, the stairs and the windows and doors okay